Hi everyone, today we're going to look at some creative and easy ways to edit our text with the fast noise effect in the edit page of DaVinci Resolve 18. So let's get started. I've added a text clip to my timeline and typed something in. You will find the fast noise effect in the effects panel under the Resolve FX Texture Elements. The effect will add this foggy noise to your text and that is not the look that we're going for. So go under the Inspector tab and change from Video Settings to Effects. The fast noise controls appear and let's start with the presets. Click on the mist effect and then scroll to the bottom of the controls panel to the output and change that to use to warp image and the input alpha to gets warped as well. It allows the shape of the text to change. And if we did not use this output effect, then the fast noise only appears on the boundaries within the text itself. So this is cool. Let's get back to the preset and this time we'll select the smoke effect and again we'll change the output so that the shape of our text changes with the effect. Now you could fade this text into a clip that has smoke rising in it. You can make adjustments to the text composite and opacity to achieve some really cool looking stuff. The next preset is the water surface effect. Now this effect automatically changes the output settings to warp, so you don't have to make those changes yourself. While this video is concentrated mostly on text, this is a cool effect for still images and video footage. The next preset is the river effect, and it automatically changes the output settings to warp also. I could see text like this trickling from a fountain or a faucet or being tracked with a leaf that's flowing down a creek. Really good stuff. The last preset is the heat haze effect. If you've ever peered across a parking lot or down a road when it's really hot outside, this effect mimics the shimmer caused by heat rising off the surface. When you click on this preset, your image, excluding the text, will turn black. Scroll to the bottom of the controls panel and uncheck the use alpha box. All of the black disappears. And this is what the heat haze effect does to your text. So let's look at a few examples. In this one, I added an image and then a text clip over the image. Over both of those clips, I added an adjustment clip and dragged the fast noise effect onto the adjustment clip. Changes to adjustment clips will automatically apply those changes to any clips below. And here I can add the heat haze to both the text and the footage at the same time. I added a little zoom to my text and I adjusted the sharpness of the text in the text control panel. I wanted it to appear as if it were coming into focus as it became larger on the screen. And you can see how the fast noise effects applies that shimmering heat look to both the image and the text. And I think that is pretty cool. Hey, if you guys are liking this video, please hit that like button for me right down below and help me out with the algorithms. Now you saw the intro and here's how I did that. This started out with a default setting. Now anytime you adjust any one of the control settings in this effect, the preset will change from wherever you started to custom. I adjusted the HV ratio, horizontal vertical ratio, to the right to give the fog a stretched horizontal look. I increased the detail level and balance to narrow the width of the horizontal layers of noise. I increased the contrast to give the effect a ragged appearance. I adjusted the X axis velocity to the left to make the effect move to the left on the screen because that was the way the wind was blowing. I adjusted the seethe rate to my liking and I changed the output to warp everything so the effect would change the shape of my text. Lastly, I keyframed my text in the settings tab to have it move off screen when the wind picked up. In this example, I didn't change the HV ratios or the X and Y velocities, but I cranked the saturation to its maximum to create this spectrum of colors. In output, I left the settings at composite onto clip so that the text would retain its shape. When you use composite onto clip, you can change the composite of the effect in the output controls. Here I selected linear light. I increased the seethe rate just a little bit so that the effect and the colors would move and regenerate. And for the fun of it, I added and keyframed a zoom blur assuming that this text would likely pair nicely with some music. Now, have you ever seen tutorials on how to use the particle generator in the Fusion page? This example is similar to that effect. Not as good, but you can do it without going into Fusion. I began with the mist preset, and the goal was to have this text appear out of the mist. So I faded the text in, but I also used the contrast in the fast noise control panel. The text slowly appears from the bottom left corner of the shot into the center-ish of the frame. It begins with a particle-like look and then comes together to form the words. With the fade turned off, you can see it clearly moving across the screen. The scale for this look is set to zero. I didn't touch the HV ratios, but the detail level and balance are set 
pretty low. Watch how the contrast is keyframed across the shot. It begins at its highest setting and by the end of the shot it's at its lowest. To stay with the same shot here is another way to use this effect. I wanted the text to blend with the shot and become more pronounced. I was not trying to make it appear as if the title was arising from the fog this time and I began again with the default preset. I adjusted the scale until the size of the noise in the text looked good to me in relation to the actual fog in the shot. I also adjusted the detail level to my own liking. I made small adjustments to brightness and contrast to try and match the brightness and contrast in the shot as best as I could. And then I adjusted the velocities of the X and Y axes so that the noise in my text would drift in the same direction and at the same speed as the real fog in the shot was already doing. The last thing that I did was copy the text and then delete the fast noise effect from the copy. I reduced the opacity of the text and added a dark outline. That text clip copy fades in at the end of the shot to highlight the boundaries of this title. And I think it looks pretty cool and it was pretty easy to do. In this last example, I composited this text as an overlay in the settings panel of the inspector panel. So before adding fast noise to the text, the text is already semi-transparent. I added fast noise to the text and then adjusted the HV ratio so that the noise was stretched vertically. And then I adjusted my brightness, contrast, and my X and Y velocities to my liking. Here I was trying to get the seethe rate and the velocities to match the actual rain falling in the clip as closely as I possibly could. Because my text was slanted to the right, I went into the position tab of the fast noise control and adjusted the rotation angle to make the angle of my effect parallel to the lean of the text. I think something like this would make a really cool watermark. Another thing about using the HV ratios is that you could easily simulate a metallic look on your text. Here is the same rain text with a solid background. And by adjusting or keyframing the brightness and contrast, you could make those metallic looking letters shimmer and gleam which is a great alternative to using 3D nodes, lights, and textures in the Fusion page. Well, everyone, that's all I have for you today. I hope you learned something from the video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please check out my channel because I plan on making more of these Resolve tutorials. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.